Block Love here. Um, second time making a video. I made the first one too long. So, uh, I will do a separate video for the touring seats. But I'm doing a dent video. I got a response. Um, so, I'm going to show my way of how to, I do dents. <coughs> this is how I did in my last video. Um, that was too long and would have been denied. Damn. Freaking light. Um, basic tools is some pliers, needle nose, um, some lighters for all the young guys out there, or I should say modelers because we've got some females. Um, make sure you got mom and dad's permission before you use them lighters. <coughs> a pair of diagonal cutters, which I don't use for dents. Uh, I use my uh, tweezers. The back of them to pull small dents. That's what I use to get all the little bumpy marks and funky lines inside the dent to help texture it. And this one back here, I used uh, the big square regular pliers and just twisted and pulled and pushed. Um, that right there, um, the corner at the bottom, just heated it and pushed it back over because it pulled away when I did the rear dent. And um, the 55 Cameo, um, I think I might have actually saved it. It'll be a while. I got to build a lot for the hinges. Um, but here's a quick view of that, real quick. Um, obviously, you can see I got a regular hood on there. And yeah, I completely chopped the fenders out of it. Completely. <coughs> by those hinges on the front next to the grill there uh, yeah so the fenders are going to be coming out and the hood's going to be up see I just knocked it over the hood comes open fenders come out and you can get in there to work on it um, so there's that and yeah so I guess I will finish my dance on the other side now so you can see Try to do this a little bit quicker. Uh, I use my windless lighter, or windproof lighter, but um, it's probably running out of fluid. Heat it up. Uh, I'm purposely ruining my paint so it helps stretch it out and give the torn paint look. But, um,. <coughs> When you're putting your dents in, the plastic will be soft and want to go back close to its original shape. So if you like the abouts of what the dent is, you're going to want to hold it there and cool it off. And then once it's hard, if you need an additional uh, dent added or want to wrinkle it a little, uh, you can heat it back up. Um, you can get a city look out of a lighter. For, um, if you're really careful in practice, you can use the soot look for the back of your tires for rubber burn off mark and the backs around your car for soot marks, like some of the Hondas get from putting those big mufflers on them. But, um, the faster you move it, the less likely it is you're going to burn your paint. <laughs> See, like I just stretched the paint out right there meant to do that. Not quite that bad, but... And if you know about anything about the real car, where you know... Ow! There's a pillar, see? You gotta be careful. I'm not bleeding, but... If you know where there's a pillar, you can grab it with your pliers on either side and kind of push and pinch together and it'll make it look like it's up against a frame piece. So, there you go. That's how I make a junker. Beat up. I had to do a couple dents on the roof or something. Make it look like a tree fell on it. So, yep. That's it uh, for making dents and a little bit of cameo. So, peace.